We're in Franklin, Tennessee today, and we're at Rooted from Yarrow Acres. We're going to learn a little bit about plants and what they require, easy, hard, and I'm visiting with Lindsay. Hey, how are you? Good. Lindsay, I love all these plants, obviously, and can you tell me about these to my right here? So these are in the pothos family. Right here we have a jade pothos. It kind of gets that name from the jade color. And then up here we have a neon. And then down here we have a golden, So just to name a few. So plant care, are these easy, hard, entry level? These would be, in my determination, an entry level because you typically only have to water them once to twice a month. And they're very vocal plants, so they speak to you. So when they're wilted or droopy, that's when they need water. Awesome. These are some of my favorites. I wouldn't necessarily say that these are an easy <clears throat> beginner level plant. These are all calatheas, which are in the prayer plant family. In the morning and in the evening, they're known as a prayer plant because in the evening they rise or they kneel, depending on the type of plant. So in the morning when we get here, all of these guys are all rising to show you the underneath of their leaves. Like this one is really pretty. You can see the different variegation as well as the one right here. So when he rises, this is a rattlesnake calathea, he shows us his pretty leaves, pretty purple colors. And then during the day they kneel to show us their other colors. So when they do that, is, it, is that because you turn the lights on in here or? They go with the rotation of the earth and the sun. So when the sun is up, they're kneeling. And when the sun is down, they're rising. Basic requirements? They like little drinks throughout the week. They love humidity and to be misted. If you do not have a humid climate for them, I would suggest a pebble tray, which is basically really easy. You just do a tray with some pebbles and leave some water there so it creates a humid environment for the plant. I saw some other plants on the other side of the shop. Let's go visit those. Sounds like a plan. Well, this is quite an arrangement. What are these, Lindsay? These are Sansevieria, or a snake plant, or the slang term from them is mother-in-law's tongue. And it looks like they come in many, many varieties, which would be the different color tones, I'm guessing? Yes, the variegations come in all levels, from super light with the moonshine and the um, Benzel sensation, all the way up to the, the green and yellow, which is the Laurenti. Now these are entry level. Super entry level, super easy. Someone comes in the store and says they've never had a plant before. This is the plant that I show them. They only need to be watered once a month. They love to dry out. And in the winter seasons, I would sometimes maybe go nine to 10 weeks on watering them. And so what about light? They can take super high light or super low light, which makes them super easy for customers the higher the light that you give them, the faster and taller they're going to grow. But if you give them low light, they're just as fine to stay the way they are. So it's a good office plant. Oh, heck yeah. And they do flower. Yes, and their flowers are particularly very fragrant, like super long stem of white tiny flowers that give off a beautiful aroma. And so what is this beauty right here? This is probably one of my favorites. This is the Ficus Audrey, which is the easier sister to the fiddle leaf fig. And so tell me about the care of both the fiddle leaf and the Audrey. So if you were to walk in and ask me or tell me you wanted a Ficus or an Audrey, one of the first things I would tell you and ask you is how much light you have in your house. They particularly love to sit next this to- This is a fiddle leaf? Yes, this is a fiddle. Okay. You can tell the difference. The Audrey's have a more texture on their leaf. They're fuzzy, whereas the fiddles are shiny. All right, well, thank you very much for sharing. You have a beautiful place. Thank you. Enjoy it. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.